All right, hello YouTube, uh, thanks for dropping in. Uh, you're very welcome. <laughs> so a little bit of a departure from my usual Y-style Borner videos. It's, um, it's lashing rain here in Ireland, um, cold, all of that. <laughs> and unfortunately I'm out of Y-style um, for a couple of hours. And um, so I'm doing this in the cold. So anyway, while I tidy the shed, um, I have been asked to, to demonstrate this before and I, I didn't get around to it, but I'm doing it now. So we'll say this, this video may not even make it to YouTube, I'm not sure. The deal is, this is a, a bog standard um, Makita site radio. And uh, on sites, very often you can't get generators, you, you need some extra light. Now you can bring battery operated torches, lights and whatever. I bring this, this beast with me nearly everywhere I go, on sites. And it's just a, you know, it's just a radio playing in the background, just releases the monotony a little bit. Um, okay, so. The deal is this, this is what it's all about. Standard radio with a button on it. And I'm not sure what this is gonna to do to the camera. This is a six LED light. It could be any sort of a light, but it's very frugal on, uh, on the battery. Typically um, with a four amp hour battery, it runs at about an amp an hour. So I get about four or five hours out of it, something like that. Um, it doesn't go out straight away. It gets a bit dim and then you know you've got to change the battery. So, you know, really, really bright. It certainly illuminates anywhere you might be working. Uh, and it's just bolted to the radio, um, you know, with a nut bolt and a kind of a, a grab washer. So I'm going to show you the setup now, but super, super easy to do. And amazingly, you know, nobody does it. <laughs> I haven't seen Makita with one. And uh, really easy. So you can direct the light, you know, plonk the radio down on the ground, direct the light up where you're working, on the ground or whatever. And it's just, it's just there. So on, off, on, off. Couldn't. And I'm not sure if that's at the killer my, my uh, camera or not, but that's the setup anyway. So how it's done, very easy. Okay, so to replace the battery in a Makita radio, it's all done in there. Makita battery, drop it in, and that's it. So what I did was very, very easy. I'm not sure what you can see. Okay, so these are the two terminals, positive and negative, red and black. So this one is the positive. This is an 18 volt battery. And um, I think that the, uh, the LED light, this one is 12 to 24 volts. Okay, I got it on eBay for about $10, $10 something like that. Um, okay, and all that happens here is that goes down through a switch. I cut, I used the Dremel, just a standard electrical switch I got out of something else. And I just hot glued it in position. I drilled a hole in the side of the radio, dropped the wire in, um, placed, you know, um, Cut a little slot out with a Dremel for the the, uh, the switch, wired it all up, and uh, that's it. I just broke the live, so you're just running literally uh, the black all the way up to the light, and the red then goes through the switch and then up to the light. So like when you switch it on and off, you're breaking one wire. If the two wires were connected, it would stay on. Uh, you break one wire, it disconnects it, and that's it. So I'm only I'm only switching one wire. I'm only switching the live. So you can see the red going in here the red coming out there and back up and that's it super easy uh, the, the actual connection made for the, the light was just a, a nylon lock nut uh, and a bolt straight down through it and that's it um, Shine on scale um, in Irish that's uh, that's the story so there you go um, key to 18 volt just drop it in close up the, uh, the door it's ready for use and the radio works with it as well so this Makita radio is capable of um, running the light and the radio at the same time now the thing is the antenna keeps breaking on these things you know they fall and, and the radio itself is very robust the antenna not so much it's, it's okay but anyway I've managed to break this one so what I did is what I've done is I put a screw in it and I just use one of these uh, magnetic um, telescopic you know these things Stick that on it, and then if it takes an off, if somebody hits off it, well, doesn't break anything, and I just pick it up, stick it back on, and uh, I've got an antenna. Other than that, I just put a piece of wire in it or something along those lines. Okay, everyone, if you found this video helpful, leave a comment below, um, give me a thumbs up, share, um, check me out on Facebook, check out my website, lovetodiy.com. I'm going to try and grow the channel, so um, any support would be greatly appreciated. And uh, I'll have more of these videos very soon. So thanks for watching. See you again. Good luck. Bye bye.